we're here on top of Blackford Hill in the middle of Edinburgh. Uh, great view of the city behind us. I really love this location, to be in the middle of the city, but to be able to enjoy the beauty of nature is an amazing thing. I can come up here, it reminds me of God, my creator. But I can also look across the city and see the great opportunity there is for the gospel in Scotland and the great need there is for the gospel in Scotland. And as I'm looking ahead as moderator over the coming year, I really want to say to myself and to you, let's make this a year of evangelism. As we come out of the pandemic, I'm asking myself what's next for me, what's next for my church and what's next for the free church. And that can sound like a complicated question, but it's actually a fairly simple question because we know that our mission never changes. Pre or post pandemic, we're called to preach the good news of the gospel, uh, to bring the good news of the kingdom and to help those who are in need. I'm going to read a few verses from Luke 9. We've been working through Luke 9 in our church at Cornerstone. Jesus called the 12 together. He gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure diseases. He sent them out to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He told them to eat nothing for the journey, no staff, no bag, no bread, no money, no extra tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there till you leave the town. If people do not welcome you, shake the dust off your feet when you leave their town as a testimony against them. So they set out and went from village to village, preaching the gospel and healing people everywhere. So Jesus is taking his mission of preaching the kingdom and healing and helping, and he's giving that mission to the disciples to preach, to heal, to help. His mission is our mission. We're coming into the summer. I'm hoping you'll all get a break of some sort. But as you do so, take time to reflect, to rest, to pray, and to think on what God's mission means in your life and in the life of your church. The pandemic showed up much of our frailty as a culture and as people, and it exposed how deep our needs go. And of course, the pandemic and all the loss that came with it created tremendous needs in many of our villages, towns, and cities, and in the lives of our neighbours. People need help. And we can help because we are good news people who are sent to serve and to love our neighbours. We are part of a better story for this world and for our nation. And we really want to tell that story of the hope that's found in the risen Jesus. So notice what's going on around you. Pray for the people around you. Listen, speak, serve. I think the pandemic turned many of us inwards, made us a little more self-focused perhaps. And so this summer, think again what it means to lift your eyes and fix them on Jesus, to love him and let his love lead you to others who need good news and who need help. Let's push on with the mission of the church. Let's push out with the mission of the church. Let's be kind, invite others to connect with the church that we go to, tell the story of the gospel and let's make evangelism our top priority as the free church for the year ahead.